synapsing with is going to send out a signal okay. down to innervate the next parasympathetic okay. well, chain. Right. The Tell next the synthetic chain game. We're going to have another one come up for a second? Um, to hit the previous uh, we were synthetic chain game. They're all going to get innervated at once. Even if you innovate only but, one, they're going to innovate each other. So are these going to be by pair of neurons? Is that quite chance? Or just... Multipolar. You'll, you'll see why clearly at the next step. So, if you guys could do this for me up here. Neurons. Yeah. Now you have a chain reaction hitting Guys, all of the ganglia. I need the answer from there. I'm pretty sure so the entire sympathetic it, chain ganglia that goes around the entire spine they were gets this, innervated right? all at once. So this should be your answer for a part. And while they're being innervated all at once, they are also sending out another signal which comes out here and will hit so, its response organs. For this. So it's going to hit other effect organs for that route okay. as well. That's going to be... See why it's uh, multipolar? Yeah. And multipolar is the most common, out. right? Yeah. Multipolar? Is it the, um, the most common neuron in the body? Yeah, I believe so. Okay. Yeah, it's going up, it's going down, it's going out. Because what do we get when we go up here? Well, up here we're going to find the next uh, sympathetic chain ganglia. And that's going to innervate up into the next spinal cord, and that's going to have its own connection to the next one. Well, you go down, and you're connecting to the next spinal nerve, which is going to have a connection to the next sympathetic chain ganglia. <laughs> so they're all arranged in a long chain, That's what it's called. and that goes all the way around the spine, down and up the other side. Okay. Where does it stop? Uh, from on the spine up here? The side of the neck. It goes all the way up into your neck, and it goes all the way down and around your sacrum. Okay. So it really does hit the entire body all at once. It's like a long U chain. Right. Okay. This is innervating this guy, and he's going to send to the next one. And he's going to double back and send back to this guy, and he's going to send out to the organs. This guy is coming down, and yeah, he's going to innervate him. He's going to go back and innervate him again. He's going to go down and innervate the next guy. He's going to go down and innervate the effect So you have a massive, widespread, systemic, sympathetic reaction. Like gossip in high school, too. Yes. It goes everywhere. Everyone hears about it. And all it took to start this entire process was one. So when you're sending out signals to all of them, you get a very quick, very rapid systemic response. The entire body gets your synthetic stimulation all at once. So now let's talk about anatomy terms. So you have your peritubral vertebrae. This is your gray rami communicantes. This is your white rami communicantes. And this is your dorsal communicantes. You didn't tell anybody to do that. You just lost yeah. it. That's what they're called. You have your communicantes because they communicate from one to the next. So there's dorsal, white, and what? So there's dorsal, and there's dorsal, and there's white rami and gray rami. Okay. These two are your rami communicantes. This is your dorsal communicantes. Okay. And the medial one, which is getting its signals from up here is your gray rami communicantes. Mm -hmm. And the one that's actually communicating them all together shouldn't actually be there. It should be on the outside. Yeah. The one that's communicating all these guys together, that's your white communicantes. Your white rami communicantes. Mm -hmm. so these are specific branches on each vertebral um, nerve. Yes. This happens at every vertebrae. Okay. So is this going to be asked on the lab or the lecture? Both. Um, really? You okay. have models in the lab that show your Rami communicantes. Yeah. Oh. The one on the green mat, that big half vertebrae, probably. The long. That one has it, but um, most one. people are tested for the communicante when it's just the spinal column on its own. You have your tube sticking out. Oh, okay. okay. All right. All right. <laughs> So you have your gray communicantes, you have your white communicantes, you have your dorsal communicantes. That's easy. Okay, that's not bad. Yes. And you can see the pathways probably, right? 
Yes. So it would be oh, even more okay. easier. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. You, can, you can make it out. Awesome. And just using a little thought and how you know how these interface, you'll see the rest of it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So that's your sympathetic stimulation. Mm -hmm. and that's your sensory and motor. So we have your somatic motor, we have your somatic nervous system, and we have your sympathetic branch of your autonomic nervous system. So we're starting to fill in that gap and see how everything works. Now let's talk about the last one, so you can do it. three, parasympathetic. How does parasympathetic fit into all this? The answer is it doesn't. It's totally separate. Let's say you have yourself a brain. Oh, so you're saying I have to use two. I use RT line A. Okay. So we have ourselves a brain, right? For, um, for D? For D? We're going to send a signal down through here, which is going to go out into these guys. Now, these connections, both the paravertebral vertebrae and the vertebrae, are connected to the spinal column. But you, you can, that only you happens in the thoracic and the, the lumbar. Yeah, that's what it is. It goes, yeah. these go all the way up to the cervical, the and they're still connected by the rami cervicalis, but they are no longer connected to the spinal nerves in the neck. They're completely separate from the spine, and that goes all the way up into the neck. That's also true for the loops going around the um, sacrum. <laughs> yeah. Not that one. This one. You have a picture in your book that also follows this course. As well as in the lecture. Okay. Yeah. So, see, here's your cervical ganglia, you like and that's notice how they're not connected to the spine. They're only connected Almost. through the yeah. T's and the L's, your thoracic and your lumbar. They will innervate these, and these actually loop around and reconnect. And that's your sympathetic chain, and then it goes outwards to your organs from, from there. Do we need to know the numbers where each is connected to? No, you just need to know thoracolumbar. Okay, and that's for all of the tests, or, just, or some of the tests we do have to know for some of the things? Our I don't think this is good. This is lecture information. It'll be in your lecture test. But you, you just you really need to know thoracolumbar. Okay. So now let's talk about the only way to this is just to uh, parasympathetic. We're going to give ourselves pretty good at doing like the theory yeah. stuff, but then he gets off into lots of tangents. Yeah, it's got us enough. I think after spinal cord, we could have done the That's like the figured out, especially with some of the after. Yeah. He kind of jumped to the brain like in the middle of 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 the middle of
But it's if you think about charity, you should make your own charge that comes with kill charge negative two. And the number four actually equal to the number of electrons. So, like, in physiology, right here should be 